Hello again and welcome back, Mid-1970 here. Now in this episode, well, let's just say there's a bit of a hole in the floor pan that I need to fix. Everything looks great here, but it's not so great there. Time to fix it. Roll titles. And today we're going to look at this. break okay so I've taken the carpets out and now you can see the uh, rust is probably not as bad as I was thinking I might be able to get away with leaving this in and just replace this so I'm going to take this floor pan out now and then we'll have another look so to get this floor pan out i'm gonna to have to find all of the old bolts that are here and see if i can get them undone with a pair of mole grips if i can't i'm gonna to have to grind them off and do that all the way around Well, is all opened up and I've taken the tunnel out so I can access that corner. Now the rot is only localised to the bottom so my plan is not to go any higher than if I can get in here at the same time than here. I'm just going to clean this up, cut that out across there, down here and just replace the lower part. So I've marked up where I'm going to cut out and it's the third one down of the three lines that are in there. Measure twice, cut once as they say. Now I can't drill out the spot welds in the bottom seam there so because that seems all rotten but the upright is good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off and then when I make my repair piece I'm going to bend the flange up and then fix it to the side there now to cut the floor out so i'm going to use the grinder and i'm going to use it on a slower speed so i can take my time and not cut through all the way right. oh, there it is so this up here, this is all good steel. So I've got something good to fix the rest of the floor to. So I'm making a cardboard template at the minute. And I'm trying to tweak it so that it fits. Okay, so now that I've got my pattern cut, I'm going to transfer this pattern onto a nice piece of stainless steel. This will never rust again.
so I've marked all my bends and where my bend corners are I've drilled through so that I don't get any cracks or splits starting now with this being stainless steel you have to remember that you've got to drill it really slowly otherwise if this gets hot it gets hard and it ends up like a stainless steel knife and you can't cut anything with it so all my shaded areas I've got to cut out so now I'm going to start cutting them out with a grinder So I've made two paper patterns. This is bend one. And that tells me when I've got the correct bend on there. And this one, bend two, tells me when I've got the correct bend there. All of these other bends are at 90 degrees. I don't know whether you can see these black dots or not, but that's when I'm gonna pop rivet it in. So I'm gonna drill them now while it's still flat. clamped up to the edge of the trailer here is a bit of straight edge and I'm going to bend this over slowly.
And there's the uh, new floor pan fitted. I've got to tweak it a little bit, just a little bit, and then uh, I'll fix it in place. So I marked through the back and drilled those two holes there in that bracket that hold the bulkhead to the chassis. So, yeah, we're getting closer. Well, I was just about to start putting the tunnel back in. And as I was moving things around, I noticed down here in this corner, I got another hole. And then as I started to pull stuff back, I found a lot of rust. So I don't think the floor's gone through yet. But at Oitas there, you missed that, didn't you, Mr. MOT man? Hey, eh? you picked up one side, but not the other. So while I'm doing this one side, I'm going to do the other side in stainless as well. Right, time to tear this side apart. for that and then pop rivet it to it we'll see if you are going to do any grinding please remember wear your ear defenders but most importantly protect your eyes safety glasses and a face visor template. 
Okay, so I've got my plate like last time. I've bent the sides up, I've checked it, it slides in. Now all I'm gonna do is bend, bend one, bend two, to make it fit the actual profile of the floor itself. footwell now you may notice this piece here so I had to cut off what I originally did reshape it and then weld it back on bit of stainless welding solid right now to fit it in a Land Rover <laughs> some proper car body panel sealer here which I'm going to spread around so that when I put that back in yeah Land Rovers are never really waterproof are they
that's the passenger side done but not without some injuries and you can see that bloody pop rivet is biting me that's why I've been having to wear my welding gloves now for the driver's side so I've put some sealer all around and I'm going to put the plate back in and then I'm going to pop rivet it in place That's the foot plate, this side welded in, welded in. Right, and that's the stainless foot plate, this side, pot rooted in. And now what I'm gonna do is put a load of sealer around and seal all the joints up from this side. So that's my driver's floor pan, <clears throat> pot riveted and sealed, top and bottom. Now I'm going to rebuild the floor in the tunnel and put my carpets back in.
and that's it. Stainless floor fitted, both sides. And a passenger side too. And there we have it. Stainless steel, footwells made and fitted into the Land Rover. So now hopefully I can get it through its MOT. All I've got to do now is I'm minus a few screws that I had to grind off, which I've ordered offline. And they should turn up in a couple of days and then I can finish fitting those and I can put the carpets back in. That's it from me for this episode. If you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, remember, I've got over 100 videos on my channel. If you haven't seen them all, it's worth looking through the back catalogue to see whether there's anything there that interests you or you might want to share out amongst your friends and family. So thank you for watching. See you all again really soon. Bye bye for now.